this is a perfect red root gathering area. As you can see, there's a lot of snags, a lot of downed trees. There's also a bowl shaped um, kind of con concave thing going on where the water is pushing the ash down here. That means there's a lot of soil. You look on the ground, there's a lot of burnt wood. Well, that's, uh, that's where you want to be. Okay, so here we have one of our ceanothus. Uh, you can see it pretty clearly here. Um, we've got the veined leaves here. I'm going to call this a hybrid. The reason I'm going to call this a hybrid is because it has like a residual thorn. You know, I might want to call it a fendler. I, I wouldn't exactly call it a thorn. But, uh, you know, I don't want to grab it either. So, uh, you want to taste it. Mm -hmm. So, there is a taste. There is a good taste there. I'm going to turn these leave, leaves over so you can see this uh, bottom side. There it is right there. Okay. You can see the three-vein leaf. So, what's going on here is this, this is not one I'm even going to think about using because it's too big it's too beautiful i don't need that one but one thing i will tell you is that these the ceanothus here grows straight down into the ground uh, with a tap root straight up and down so you want to find one that exactly has that pattern of an up and down um pattern of growth okay here we go right here this, is, this one is in a dormant state. This is winter up here. The snow has just melted. Okay, you can see this one, it's, you know, it's not really green. Well, you don't want it to be green because the root energy now is in the ground. All those, uh, the, all those things that this plant has are in it right now, in the ground, in the root. Soon, they're going to be pushing out leaves, pushing out new growth. This is the type that you want, straight up and down. It's going to have a straight tap root that goes straight down. And that's going to be a perfect, perfect one. Here's another one. This is a nice little small one. That's a perfect size, you know? Perfect size. What? Whenever you come out here to the plants, think about why you're here, what you're going to do, what the reasoning is that you're here. Um, spend some time. Talk to the plants. Talk to Creator. Talk to Spirit. Uh, these medicines... Obviously, if you're harvesting a root, the plant's going to die. So, there's some pretty serious shit going on here. You want to think about it. You want to you really, you know, you don't want to obsess about it, but you want to be aware of what you're doing. There's an exchange going on in life. There's an in and out breathing. There's life, there's death. That's just how it is. Whether you're eating carrots or eating uh, lamb chops, something has got to die for you to live. That's what these medicines are about. Red root, ceanothus. Like I said, this is a hybrid. A little bit further up, there's some Fendleri. A little bit further down, there's some, <clears throat> some Greggy. And just around the ridge here, there's some of the uh, Interagemus or the big leaf variety. So they're all mixing. At least that's, that's my consensus on this location. So the key points, you want a burned area. There's your snags. This totally burned. The soil is, is extremely rich. There are no rocks here. The roots go straight up and down. Straight up and down. Red root. Get to know it.